Hey everyone, it's Diane. So I thought today I would do a tree ring pour. I did one the other day, um, but for some reason my camera stopped recording. And so I'm going to do another one. That one is currently on my drying rack. It looks good. I'm not touching it. And I'm going to do some pastels um, that I've been using lately. Um, these folk art metallics. As well, of course, my favorite Lucas Cadmium Orange Light. Can't go wrong with that. I do have covering white down here on my canvas that I'm just going to cover my canvas with. Whoever named that at Jerry's for its Creative Inspirations paint was pretty smart. Covering white. That's exactly what we use it for. Excuse me while I just manipulate this a minute. You might see the whole thing. You're not missing anything but paint being moved around on a canvas. And not in a special technique type of way. So there's a couple ways to do a tree ring pour. Um, and I say this because, you know, ideally you're supposed to, let me move my cups a minute, you're supposed to move it around as you pour it, but if you have trouble um, doing that, like, it's not very, it's not super hard, but sometimes it's not all that easy either. Um, you can just pour it straight. As long as you're pouring it in, in a ring. Excuse me, I have to walk away for a minute and change my gloves because I got all that white paint all over them. So here we are. I am going to get another pair of gloves real quick here. And I am going to go through layering the cup everything because um, I had a a couple people asked me about it. They like to see the layering of the cup. So we shall show everyone. If you don't want to see that, feel, feel free to fast forward. Just looking for my titanium white paint. Which I just used yesterday. Oh, it's right in front of me. Right in front of my face. Love when things do that. All right, so I'm going to spray it with my WD 40 silicone off to the side. I'm going to just rub it around the bottom a little bit here. Now, remember what you put in there first comes out last. So I'm going to put white. This is Soho's titanium white. It is brighter than the covering white that's on here. So after that, I'm going to go in with my um, Lucas Cadmium Orange Light. And then we're going to go right down this row here. Um, this is Deco Art Metallic Amethyst. I'm going to put a little more white in between there. Um, after that, I'm going in with uh, Folk Art Metallic Ice Blue. Maybe a little more. Then Folk Art Champagne, also metallic. And then this is a pink, just craft paint I have. Not really sure. There's not a lot in here, so. All right. Um, then I'm gonna do another layer back in with the orange. 
This is meant to be a pastel like um, tree ring pour. And so I'm using these. This is the darkest thing that'll be in there is the amethyst. These craft paints, they are much thinner than um, your heavier body paints, which is good and bad for a tree ring. I'm gonna see if I can get anything else out of this pink one. Take the cap off. Um, I do want something something in there that's a little darker so I think uh, I want to I do want to kind of keep it in the pastel colors so I'm gonna use purple lake by creative inspirations it's purple but it's kind of muted if you've seen it you know what I mean and I just squeeze that all the way down through there this is a 14 by 14 canvas, so I need to layer some more paint in my cup. And there's no silicone in here, which is fine with me. I like my true ring pores without cells. I mean, it's, it's great with them too, but they don't have to have cells. Amethyst, and then I'm going to go in with this pearl, this uh, folk art champagne, it looks like a pearl, and then the ice blue or blue ice, and let me get something to give this cup a swirl. I think we can start our tree ring pour. I'm actually hoping that I can leave some negative space around it. Um, I like negative space. So, here's the cup. I'm going to come over here and pour it from the side so you can see it. Last time when I did um, a kissing uh, technique pour, I made the mistake of blocking the camera. So, I will not block it. Now if you can, just slightly turn it around and you'll get that tree ring effect a little more than if you just held it up. But if you're like me and you see this, it's not, it's not really smooth. <laughs> so part of me doesn't want to circle it around. Part of me just wants to let it flow like that. If that's what I shall do. The cup, I hope you can see it. It looks really cool. It's just like all pastels. It's really cool. Yeah, see, I can't really do that very well. So I'm just pouring it straight like that. Now I'll pour it. Now I'll try and move it around. Just so we don't have mud. You have to have a really steady hand for that. And my hands are not that steady. But I got everything out of there except for a little white. So that's good. Got it out and on the canvas. All right. So it's going to be a wonderful weekend in Tennessee. Not. 
we're going to get some rain this weekend, like all weekend. So I guess I'll be relaxing and watching movies and painting because, you know, that's what you do when it's miserable outside, right? I'm going to turn this light down a little bit so you can maybe see better. You can definitely see the colors better. Well, I can. I'm sure you'll see it as I move it as well. There's still some air bubbles coming up. But we're going to start moving it around. And I like to just go in a big circle, which most people do. Since I'd ideally like to keep it on the canvas, I will try my darndest. But the point is to stretch it out. So we're going to take it off down here. Come on, come on. And taking it back. And taking it down here. And taking it back. Take it off down there and I'm bringing it back. And we'll bring it off down here. And bring it back just a little. Put it on the cups. Wipe my hand off that is currently full of paint. Mm, that's looking cool. With all the pastels in it. That darker um, almost looks cranberry-like. That's the purple lake in there. Glad I put something darker in there. Otherwise it would have been too, too light. So let me give this a few minutes and then I will take you down for a look. Hey y'all, so here's my tree ring pour I just did with the pastel colors and then that darker purple lake in the middle. Um, I will definitely get a picture of this in the daylight as well because you would never can really see the colors until daylight um, on. I don't feel like you can very well. But I'm just taking you up to the corner here. And to the left corner and then there's the middle obviously it's like a tornado that's a whole other pour which I honestly haven't tried yet I should try that but I like the pastels I'm a fan so um, yeah thanks for watching please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel if you click the bell, you can be notified of my upcoming videos. And then if you like this video, give that little thumbs up a smash. And um, just, yeah, feel free to give me a comment. Leave me a comment and I'd be happy to reply to you. And uh, thanks for watching.